Okay, so 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 answer me this, because I know around 08, 09, and, and, and I, I, I need you to clarify this for me, because you touched on this earlier. Drake, best I ever had. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of confusion around that record. Yeah. Are you, yeah, are you but... because to my knowledge, you're a co-writer or co-producer on the record. Yes. Um, you you got something like uh nominated for for four BMI awards and yeah, in a Grammy it. nomination. I got the BMI but Drake awards. Drake right? said that you, yeah. Drake disputed it. Like what what yes. is the confusion around your participation in Best I Ever Had? Uh basically, man, it's another one of those things where it's like the, the industry, you know, the industry, music industry is a tough place, man. And it, it, it'll make a man out of you. Um, basically, when in 08, after I signed with Gazi, Wayne was at Hot Beast Studios. My guy Russ owned Hot Beast. He said, yo, Wayne up here. I bought a verse from Wayne back in 2002 for a Skinny Pimp album that I put out, the TVT. So I've been knowing Wayne up since then. So Wayne in the studio, I'm like, yeah, and this is after So Crispy. So I'm like, yeah. And I've been rocking with Wayne, you know, since So Crispy. He was on Universal too. So, you know, I, I definitely been rocking with him. So he in the studio in Atlanta, I go to the studio, give him some beats and some books on a CD. You know what I mean? And um, so he gets it. He decides to make one of the songs. He put it on the leak mixtape. It was called Do It For The Boy. Do it for the boy with like, we could do it real big, bigger than you ever done. I be up on everything, other niggas never on it. So just do it for the boy, do it for the boy. So that was the song that I sent to Wayne with the hook and the beat, Wayne. And then it was like, when I send beats, it's like the hook beat. And then it's like, then just the beat by itself, just in case you decide not to go with the hook I put on there. Maybe you want to do your own thing. Here's the beat by itself, you got inspiration. Wayne does it, makes the record. Drake samples the record, makes best they ever had. Wayne comes out with it on his mixtapes. I'm not tripping 08, this 08, 09. This is the mixtape Wheezy. It's, I'm glad he put my gentleman on the mixtape because it's just getting heard. And there's a production from me. And Wayne is on fire. This is a Millie Wayne. So I'm not tripping on Wayne not paying me for the beat because it's on a mixtape. It's just a good look for me on my beat side of things and what I'm doing. But when Drake takes the song and makes the best they ever had and it becomes a number one song, Okay, now I've got to make sure I collect what's mine. You know what I mean? Because that song wasn't that Wayne did it. He's sampling from not, maybe he's showing love to Wayne, but not knowing that that song was created by not more than just Wayne. It was me and Wayne on the original song. So um, so basically I already had my business together. I already had the song that I did with Wayne registered with Universal Music Publishing because I had my publishing deal through them already. And then I then so then when the Drake record came out, hell, you know, my AR I was like, bro, this song sounds just like your song. So uh then I had another DJ, Absolute in in New York. He hit me and was like, bro, because originally I was gonna sell the, the beat to that mixtape song Wayne did. I was gonna sell that beat to Jaheen. Absolute was trying to put that deal together with Daryl Jones to sell this particular beat to Jaheen. So he was going to make a percentage. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Me and says, bro, why did you sell the beat to Drake? I said, bro, who is Drake? He was like, well, he got the beat in the song. I'm like, how did he get the beat in the song? What are you talking about? He sends me the joint. I send the song, my original song that I did with Wayne, and I send the Drake song to Universal Music Publishing. They said, yo, this is definitely your record. We sent it to a music colleges. You're going to get 25% of this record. So they already made sure that my credits were on because Drake was signed with Universal as well through the Republic mm -hmm. system. So they made sure that all my credits were on on the on the song, make sure the be and myself was set up and all that. So I go get, I made no announcements. I just got my credits. When I go pick up this particular award, this one, the BMI award, when I go get that one, Worldstar is there and they say, yo, Kia Shine, what are you doing winning the Drake Best I Ever Had Award? I said, I got it because I got a co-write on this song, a co-write of credit on this song. Shit goes viral. You know what I mean? Goes viral. It's a trending topic on Twitter and all that shit is going crazy. First time I went viral. And it's like, yo, you know, outside for something un other than music. You know what I mean? This is this is like, you know, I, going going viral was a new thing because you think it's 09. This is when social media come in. Correct. Like, okay, Correct. I'm going viral here. With this stuff and and then dre comes out and says that i'm lying you know what i mean and i'm like okay well i was winning the plaque i was there receiving a plaque for the award 
for the song. So there's no way I'm lying about it. I'm actually receiving a plaque. You know what I mean? So it's not about that. And it was like, uh, so I remember I went on uh, on Shade 4 5 and I was like, nah, I don't know what, why Drake would say I was lying because I was there winning a plaque for the thing. And you could look- Was he name. there? Was he there that night? He wasn't there. But Big John and those guys were there. And you can see my name on the credit on the album. My name is Nakia Coleman. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.